Tiffany? Okay, no problem. Ready? Ready. Stand by. Emergency! Go, Max, go! did I do? 38 seconds. Good time, Max. Thanks, G. No, it's rubbish. I've got to do better than that. Let's go again. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Go! Seven seconds. Oh, that's only one second faster than before. But at least it is faster. You're doing well, Max. Anyhow, I've got to go on patrol now. I'll see you later. Come on, Timber. <laughs> Thanks, Tiffany. And remember, speed isn't everything. It is to me. To me. <laughs> Pass it to me. Jumpy! Ah! Oh, what a shot! Oh, sorry, handball. Sorry. <laughs> no, we mustn't do that. We have to keep the ball away from the road. Remember? Sorry. I'm really sorry. That was my fault. Now do you see why it's so important to keep balls away from the road? Yes, I do, Tiffany. Oh, no, look! <laughs> Tiffany to Max. Tiffany to Max. Hi, Tiffany. Max here, receiving you. Max, emergency! Emergency! Oh, there it is! Come on, Scoot! We can do this! I'm on my way to help you, Max. But I can't see any sign of the ball yet. Oh, well done, Timber. Yes, there it is. Max, we're going to try and cut it off. Up with it. Oh, if only 
I was faster. Honestly, Max, I don't think anyone could have got that ball. <laughs> That's funny. There's no sign of it. It's completely disappeared. We'll have to go and search for it. Tiffany, to all emergency services, we've lost contact with the runaway ball in the hillside area. We're starting a search. Oh, I'm sorry I've caused so much trouble. And we've lost the ball. Don't worry. I'm sure Max and Tiffany will find it for you. It's vanished. I can't understand it. How does a ball manage to disappear just like that? That's odd. What's up, Raph? Looks like a house on fire. <gasps> yes, it is. Emergency, emergency. Fire crew to Frankie. Let's go, Frankie. Tom, the house is in the hillside area. Okay, got that, Raph? The hillside area. Oh, my goodness! What? What is it, Raph? I know the house. It's Tina's. Hurry, Tom. Raph to Tina. Raph to Tina. Tina here, Raph. Did I hear that right? I'm really sorry, Tina. Yes. Your house is on fire. Oh, Tina, that's terrible. I have to get there. Come on, everyone, jump in. Did you hear that about Tina's house? Yes. It's somewhere near here, just around the corner, I think. Come on! <sighs> Here's the key. Stand well back. Everybody over here, please. Stand well out of the way. It's really strange. There's a lot of smoke in there, Tina. But it seems to be coming from your boiler fire. There's no other fire in there. So the house isn't on fire? I don't think so. So why the smoke? I suppose the chimney could be blocked. I'll go up and see, shall I? Good idea, Elfie. Thanks. OK, Elfie, up you go. Oh! <laughs> what is it? What's so funny? You'll never guess. So tell us. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Look, it's a ball. Oh. Oh. It's a ball. It was sitting on Tina's chimney pot. So that's why there was smoke in your house. You mean the ball was blocking the chimney? Yes. The smoke from your boiler couldn't escape through the chimney as usual, so it came out into the kitchen instead. Oh, so I haven't had a house fire after all. Thank you, Elfie. No problem, Tina. Here's your ball. Oh, thanks, Elfie. From now on, I'm going to be extra careful when I kick a ball. I'm sorry I didn't manage to stop the ball when I had the chance. I'm just not fast enough. I think you did really well. The main thing is, we all work together. That's true. Teamwork. Like you said, speed isn't everything. <laughs> wow! I never thought I'd hear you say that, Max. Neither did I. <laughs> See you! Hi, Kimmy. Oh, hi there. And have I got some exciting news for you. I'm so excited I can hardly speak. Not that that usually stops me. 
You know, some people in the city of Friends have me down as being a bit of a chatterbox. I can't imagine why. Yes? What's this exciting news? Oh, yes, I almost forgot. <laughs> Can I put this up in your window? It won't take up too much room. And I'll take it down for you as soon as we don't need it anymore. Wow. An under-13s disco? Oh, Mum, can we go? <laughs> of course you can. There's going to be a large show and a DJ and everything. <sighs> I almost wish I was a youngster again so I could go too. Hi, Martin. Hi, Mia. Want to come to the park? Wouldn't you rather go to a disco instead, Jumpy? No, I want to play for the... Disco? What disco? The disco in the town hall, tonight. <laughs> Wicked! Just what I need to show off my brilliant break dancing. Watch this. just happened? Jumpy was doing some break dancing. Oh! Don't worry, ow. Jumpy. Oh. I'm sure you'll be fine. How did he do it? I think they said he was dancing. Woof, woof, woof. Huh. We should be out catching criminals and stuff. Agreed, Petey. Well, someone's got to take the lights and turntables to the town hall for the disco. We could be out solving crimes and being super detectives. <laughs> yeah, right. Ooh, ow. Well, Jumpy, I don't think you're quite as bad as you sound. Oh, I am! I need bandages and... Crutches and... Um, I, I think we'd better take you to the hospital for a closer look. Oh, no. That means you're going to miss the disco. Huh? Uh, on second thoughts, I think I might be able to limp along to the music. No, Jumpy. We'll take you to the hospital and have another look at you there. I'll be all right. Honest. I'm sure you will. By tomorrow. Just so long as you keep nice and still. Don't want to make your injuries any worse, do you? Poor Jumpy. He was looking forward to the disco. Don't worry, he'll be fine by tonight. There really isn't very much wrong with him. But we thought we'd teach him a little lesson. Pretending you're ill when you're not isn't very clever. <laughs> I suppose he was making a bit of a fuss. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better now. Is that the lot, Max? Yep, that's everything. Oh, there's some pretty nifty kit here. A light show, turntables, there's even a smoke machine. Right, as soon as you've taken that inside, we can get back to the station and start solving crimes again, Max. Uh, yes, you do that, Tiff. I'll just stay behind and make sure all this stuff works. You do that then, Max. Right, let's see. Oh, yeah! Do you think Jumpy will be allowed out of the hospital yet? Hope so, he... Hello? The disco can't have started yet, can it? I didn't think it was until six o'clock. Oh, hope we didn't make a mistake about the time. Disco is for under-13s only. That's right, and it hasn't started yet. But there's... Just checking that all the equipment's working. Well, run along. See you later. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, baby! Watch me move! Now, to check out that smoke machine. Right, just switch that. Oh, 
A bit, Elfie. Oops, so I did. Shouldn't you be keeping an eye out on the city, Ruff? I suppose I should, really. Still, I don't think there's likely to be any fire. No, probably not. No, I mean fire. As in, there's a fire out there. The town hall. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, fire. Fire! Fire! Where? The town hall! Smoke absolutely pouring out of it! Fire! Fire! Come on, let's get to work. Water on! Max? Are you okay? Come on, Max. Out of there, quick, before you get burned. I won't get burned. There's no fire. What? But it's the smoke machine. I can't turn it off. Oh, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Got an off switch? Yes, it has. You just need to know where to look for it. Uh, well, I. It was. Uh, oh, bother! All better now, Jumpy? Yes, well, I wasn't all that hurt in the first place. I, I think I might have made more of a fuss than I needed to. Come on, we'd better hurry. It starts soon. Bye, Ted. Bye, Tina. And thanks. <laughs> Hi, Max. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Timber. Ruff. You're not going to the disco, are you? You're a bit old for it. No. We're just here to keep an eye on things. Well, keep an eye on me! I'm the best dancer in the city of Friends! Watch this! Woo! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Call that dancing! This is dancing! Hey! Oh! I'm fine! Just a little bump! sandwiches for the ducks? Certainly not. I've just made them for my lunchtime customers. But, Mum, the ducks are really hungry. <laughs> so are my customers. Here, you can have these stale bread rolls. Stale bread? <laughs> the ducks won't know the difference. <laughs> sit, Timber, sit. <laughs> Fetch, Timber! Fetch! Oh, good boy, Timber! Good boy! <laughs> Mum was right. Ducks don't seem to mind stale bread. <laughs> <laughs> The mother duck must be hungry, looking after all those ducklings. I wonder what's the matter with that duck. 
She seems afraid of us. Come on, Martin. Let's leave her in peace. Hi there. We've just been doing some dog training. Timber was a very clever boy. <laughs> but now he wants to play football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it! <gasps> Martin, what are you doing? Oh, I was going to try and dislodge the ball with a stone. If you miss fire, the stone might hit the duck and hurt her. Oh. Sorry. How are we ever going to get the football off her nest? Timber's a good swimmer. Maybe he can swim out and nudge the ball off the nest with his nose. Huh. It's worth a try. Fetch the ball, Timber! Fetch! <laughs> Wow! He's a brilliant swimmer! The mother duck's trying to scare Timber away. Here, Timber! Back, boy! <laughs> Timber! <laughs> You're wet through! Good boy! You tried your best. Oh, now what are we going to do? We need a long ladder that will reach right out to the middle of the pond. There's only one long ladder in the City of Friends, and that belongs to Frankie the Fire Engine. Hey! You've got a call coming in. Loud and clear, Tiffany. How can we help? Can you come to the City of Friends Park right away? We've got a problem. We're on our way, Tiffany. Yeah! Ranky to the rescue! Let's hope your bucket reaches out that far, Elfie. How did you get the football in the nest in the first place? Mia kicked it. I, I was trying to score a goal. Oh, great shot, Mia. Be quiet, Timber. Sit. Oh. Oh, just a little bit further, and it'd have been right over the nest. It looks like we're going to have to use the ladder as well, Barney. If we could secure the ladder to Elfie's bucket, I could lie across it and grab the ball. No way, Barney. You're too heavy. You'd bend the ladder and end up in the pond. Oh, you're right, Tom. It's got to be somebody who's small and light. I'm small and light, Barney. I can do it. No, Mia. It's too dangerous. We've got to do something. It wouldn't be dangerous if we secured Mia to the ladder with a safety harness. <sighs> OK, Mia. Let's give it a go.
You're doing great, Mia. Josh, don't worry. I'm only trying to help. It's okay. Can she reach? I don't know. The duck keeps getting in her way. We're nearly there, Mia. One more go should do it. Uh, oh, got ya! Well done, clever girl. She's done it. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Woof, 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 woof. Oh, now I see what was troubling you. How lucky are you? Not one egg is cracked. Let's bring them in, Tom. Well done, Mia. Oh, I don't think we'll be playing any more football here today, Timber. Mrs Duck needs some peace and quiet while she waits for her eggs to hatch. Is Elfie's bucket locked down, Tom? Elfie's tucked up nice and tight, Frankie. OK, team. That was a good result. Look! The ducklings have hatched out! <laughs> that beats scoring a goal any day. <laughs> well, how about a nice coffee mug? No, giraffes don't drink coffee, Elfie. <sighs> um, pair of dark glasses? Rocking horse? Rubber duck. <sighs> I don't think we're ever going to come up with a suitable birthday present. Still, she'll enjoy her surprise birthday party, won't she, Raph? <laughs> Not if I can't think of a birthday present. Oh. Well, why don't you ask everyone else when you invite them to the party? Someone's bound to have a good idea. Good idea. I just said that. I'll ask Barney if I can have the day off to go and ask everyone. Do it. Look what I've got for you, Scoot. It's the Max Mark I jetpack. Now you'll go extra supersonic fast. Of course you can have the day off, Raph. Thank you, Barney. Too kind. <sighs> Fat lot of help I was. I couldn't think of anything to help Raph. Well, you tried, Elfie. Yes, but I know. I'll give the old place a good spruce up for the party. That's what I'll do. I'll get the station looking absolutely bright and clean and sparkling. Great idea, Elfie. A surprise party? Shush. It's supposed to be a surprise. Just one thing, though. I can't think of anything to get her as a present. Well, how about a nice scarf to keep her warm? You know what? That's a great idea, Mia. But where am I going to find a scarf big enough? She's got a very long neck, you know. Well, if everyone gave you a scarf, we could sew them all together. That'd be long enough. Uh, hang on, where's he going? We can collect all the scarves in this! You know, you two ought to enter the Good Idea Olympics. <laughs> Come on, let's get collecting. Hello. Mm, that 
chimney could do with a spot of attention. A bit higher, please, Frankie. Got you, Elfie. <laughs> Supersonic Scoot and Max the Marvel. When emergency calls, we'll be the fastest thing in the city. Okay, Scoot. Let's get ready to rumble! Oh, I hope I didn't overdo things. Uh-oh. Oh, wow! Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Look out! <laughs> to be the longest scarf ever invented. And the most colourful by the look of things, Jumpy. You must thank your mum for sewing them all together. Oh, G is going to be so pleased. What's that sound? What? Max? Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, that was lucky. Except, how do I get down? What just happened? I don't know. I think it was something to do with Max. Jumpy, hold on. I, I, I can't. We'll get help. Oh, yes, please. And quickly. I don't like it up here. Go and get Frankie, Raph. Oh, okay. And hurry! Try not to move, Jumpy. We'll soon have you down. Oh, I hope. to take you back to the station and get those jetpacks off you. On the flagpole? Yes, and if we don't hurry... Tom, Frankie, quick. Get yourselves over to the town hall as soon as you can. Sooner! I'm on the case. Abby, why'd you stop? Help! Elfie, what are you doing up there? Wondering how to get down. Well, don't worry. Frankie will help. He won't. He's just gone off on a job. How about Hayley? Good thinking, Abby. Don't worry, Elfie. We'll soon have you down. Max, just the very person. We need Haley and quick. Elfie's stuck on the fire station roof. Hey, over here! Help! Thanks, Max. You're a lifesaver. Speaking of which, I think there's a bit of a problem over at the town hall. You mean, like, an emergency? Think so. Right. Elfie. Elfie. Hop in. Elfie, come on. We've got someone to save. Elfie. Um, <clears throat> I think she might still be on the station roof. On the station? What's she doing up there? Well, <laughs> she was cleaning it. Getting ready for G's surprise party. Well, in that case, come on, Tom. In you hop. I can't. You know what I'm like with heights. I'll do it. You will not, my lad. Safety regulations forbid it. Well, who's going to get Jumpy down? Elf! 
fee. Thought you might need a hand. Hang on, Jumpy. We'll soon have you down. Well, I think that's enough excitement for one day. Um, not quite. Pick you me. Shh, shh, shh. We've still got G's surprise birthday party, remember? Here she comes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever can they want me at the fire station for? I don't know, G. But Raf said it was important. Surprise! Surprise! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday G. G! Oh, but this is so unexpected. I hope this is too. It's a scarf. Hope you like it. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you all so much. <sighs> Happy, Happy birthday, G! G. I don't know where it's all come from. Yes, I... Such a lot of mail today. Well, I had to pack it in an extra bag. Yes, I... Couldn't get it all in my pouch. Well, I... And I can get more post in my uh... pouch than most people can get in something no, really it... big, like a big bag. Yes. Like this one. It's so... extra, you see, because oh. I've got so much mail to deliver. I see. Hop in, Ted. We've got an emergency. Oh. Um, sorry, Kimmy. Some other time. What's the emergency, Tina? Nothing too serious. The mayor slipped on a piece of cheese. Just a couple of bruises, I expect. Host! Oh! Oh, Kimmy! Don't do that! Oh, sorry, Elfie. It's just I've got a lot of posts today, so I thought I ought to shout just that little bit louder. Now, let's say I've got a load of letters for Barney and... and Oh, my bag! My extra bag of letters! It's gone! Someone must have stolen it! Help! Police! There's a letter robber on the loose! Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Sure as sure can be. I was on my rounds with an extra bag when I got to the fire station and it had gone. Someone must have taken it. There could be stuff in there that's really important and... Max? Find that missing bag. Aye, aye, sir. Right, Kimmy. I want you to tell me exactly what you've done today so we can retrace your steps. Right. I woke up at around half past six. I was wearing my spotty pink pyjamas. I got out of bed. Not the usual side. I got out of the right-hand side for a change because I distinctly remember my slippers weren't there. They're bunny slippers. Not real bunny slippers, of course. That'd be cruel. No, they're pretend bunnies. Anyway, then I went to brush my teeth. And so... I came here, and I want the thief found and punished, severely. Oh, what? Oh, oh. Right, Scoot. Let's go and find that mailbag. <laughs> <laughs> Must do something about that siren of yours, Scoot. Hi, Martin. Hi, Mia. Ooh, what have you got there? We're taking some of Mum's cakes to the police station. Cool, brilliant. Can I have one? No, they're for Bobby and the team. Well, can I come with you and give them to them? <laughs> yes, all right, Jumpy. Great, I'd make a brilliant delivery man, you know. And the next stop she made was the hospital. Kimmy must have been so busy talking she forgot it. Well, we better take it back to her. There might be some important letters in there. Caught you red-handed! It's a very serious offence is stealing the post. What? Kimmy told me all about it. How someone stole her extra mail sack. Oh, for Pete's sake, Max. I didn't steal it. Kimmy left it here by mistake. Kimmy... She left it here? Oh, I see. Well, in that case, I'd better take it back to her. Um, 
Sorry, Ted. Got a bit carried away. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> my. Your mum certainly bakes a wonderful cake. Mm. Special Agent Max reporting, sir. Mystery solved, case closed, and three cheers for Max. Oh, Max, Max, can I have a go on Scoot, please? I'm the best scooterator in the City of Friends. Well, I would be if I had a scooter. Can I have a go, please? Uh, uh not just now, Jumpy. When then, Max? Well, I've got to take this mailbag back to Kimmy and, uh, uh stuff. Uh, <clears throat> see you later. Kimmy, I've found the missing mailbag. Ripper! Oh, Max, you're a hero. Well, come I, in, uh, come uh, in and uh, tell me all sorry. about it. <laughs> hmm. Must learn to whistle sometime. And when I've learnt how to whistle, I'll be the best whistler in... Hello? Hi, Scoot! Max? Max? Oh, not here. Well, he won't mind if I take you for a little ride then, will he, Scoot? <laughs> Whee! Whoa! <laughs> Can't thank you enough, Max. Brilliant job. You've saved the day and no mistake. Beauty! Yes, well, uh, can't stay to chat, Kimmy. Uh, crimes to solve, criminals to... Oh! oh, oh, Scoot, he's gone. He's been stolen. Someone call the police. You are the police, Max. Oh, yes, that's right. Stop, thief, wherever you are. Scoot, Scoot. Ha-ha, <laughs> it's Jumpy, best scooterator in the Stop! Sounds like someone's in trouble! Oh. oh! Oh! Oh dear! What's it all about, Elfie? Jumpy's had a bit of an accident! Scoot! Uh, <laughs> Scoot! Max, whatever's the matter? Uh, it's Scoot! He's gone missing! I think he might have been stolen! Oh, 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 ah, ah. He's not as bad as he sounds. Just a few bumps and grazes. You mean I'm going to live? You'll be fine, Jumpy. But we better take you to the hospital. There's a few grazes that need a little attention. Oh, oh. Martin, Mia. Could you tell Jumpy's mum and dad that he's had a little accident? Nothing to worry about, but we're taking him to the hospital to patch him up. Of course we will. Is he still here? Yup, he's here. And as good as new. Well, not quite. That scooter ride was so not a good I... I... Um, I... I've decided to be a champion whistler when I grow up. Yeah. Mm. Um, what scooter ride? Were you the person who took Scoot? <coughs> Jumpy? Yes. But Max did say I could have a go. Sort of. Well, how was I supposed to know Scoot was going to scoot me into the bushes? I've looked everywhere. I don't think I'm ever going to see Scoot again. <laughs> Scoot! So when Jumpy told us where he'd left Scoot, it didn't take us long to find him. Well done. You know, I think we ought to make you special assistant detective constables for this. Oh, oh, can I be a special assistant detective constable too? Maybe. When you learn not to uh, <clears throat> borrow things that don't belong to you. Yes, um, 
Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Max. Sorry, Scoot. But, oh, I know. I'll just be a special detective whistler instead. <laughs> <laughs> morning, all. Morning, morning, morning Bobby. 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 Oh, the usual, please. One coffee to go, coming up. Now then, <clears throat> I need your help. Well, we do our best, Bobby. What's up? We've got a special training exercise today for the police, fire and ambulance services. Oh, thanks. The thing is, no one will have time to go out for lunch. That's no problem, Bobby. We'll deliver sandwiches. Yes, leave it with us. Well, thank you. That's a problem solved. Everyone will be really pleased. See you later then. Bye. Bye, Bobby. Bye. Hey, Mia and I could deliver the sandwiches on our bikes. Oh, yes. Please let us, please. Good idea. Of course you can. Calling all police, fire and ambulance units. Are you receiving me? Ambulance crew here, Bobby. Receiving you. Max here, Bobby. Receiving you. Fire crew here, Bobby. Receiving you. OK. The emergency you are going to attend in a moment is not a real one. But you must pretend that it is. Barney and I want to see how well you all work together. Stand by, please. Right. First stop, the fire station. Helmets on, Mia. There's no need. It's not far. It's not about how far it is. You should wear your helmet. But I look silly in it. Hi, Bobby. We're ready to go. Thanks, Barney. Calling all units. Calling all units. Emergency. Emergency. We have a fire in the city. Here are your instructions. Come on then, Scoot. Let's get there first. To wear a helmet, Mia. No, I'm not going to. Come on, we have to deliver these sandwiches. But, Mia. Come on, Martin. I'll write carefully, all right? <sighs> all right. Good work there, Elfie. Well done, you three. I can see Raph. He's looking out for his lunch. No, he isn't. He's watching out for fires. Hi, Raph. Hello. Mia, he can't hear you. Just keep your eyes on the road. Stop fussing. I am. Oh, oh. oh Mia. Raph to Bobby, Raph to Bobby. Mia's had an accident on her bike. Can you send Tina to check her over? Bobby here. Will do, Raph. Oh, you're lucky. It's just a scrape. But you could have hurt your head, Mia. Why weren't you wearing your helmet? Because I look silly in it. OK. Tina to Max. Tina to Max. Can you get over here as soon as possible? I need your help. Mia won't wear her cycle helmet. Max here, Tina. No problem. Relax, relax. You can count on Max. Hey, here's Max. What do you notice about him, Mia? 
He's on Scoot. And? Hi there, sandwich people! <laughs> He's funny. OK, that's true. But the important thing is, he always wears his helmet when he's on Scoot. Isn't that so, Max? Yep, always. You see, Mia, you should always wear your helmet too. But I look silly in my helmet. I look silly in mine. But I wear it anyway, to be safe. Well, I think you look cool in yours. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. OK. Hey, I know. How about this? We'll do a deal. A deal? Uh-huh. Here it is. You agree to wear your helmet for the rest of the day. After that, it's up to you. You mean it's her choice? Yep. But my guess is she'll always want to wear it. What do you say, Mia? Um... Yes. OK. Done. <laughs> Good for you. See you later, then. See you. Bye, Tina. Thanks. Bye. What's your clever plan, Max? <laughs> You'll see. Relax, relax. Leave it to Max. Max to Ted. Max to Ted. That's a great idea, Max. I'll do that. Don't forget to tell Elfie. OK, Max, will do. Hi, Frankie. We've brought lunch. Oh, good for you. They're all ravenous in there. Have you got the sandwiches? Yes, all here. Brilliant. Thanks. Come on, Mia. Uh, wait a moment, you two. We've got something for you, haven't we, Tom? Oh, yes. Here you go. They're special badges. You've earned them for being the fire service's delivery team. Wow, thanks. Where do we put them? Well, on your helmets, of course. I've never had a special badge before. You deserve it. Oh, thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Elfie to Ted, Elfie to Ted. They'll be with you soon. Thanks, Elfie. We're already here. Hi there. Are we glad to see you two? Oh, thanks, Martin. We've got something for you. They're helmet badges for being the ambulance services delivery team. Hey, thanks, Ted. Oh, thank you. They look great. Thanks, Tina. Enjoy your lunch. Bye. Ted to Max. Ted to Max. They're on their way. Thanks, Ted. We're ready. Just the people we wanted to see. Oh, thanks, Mia. Now, guess what? We've got special badges for you both for being the police services delivery team. <gasps> wow, brilliant. That's three badges for my helmet. Hey, thanks. Bye. Go carefully. Bye. Bye. Well done, Max. Mia loves her helmet now. And that's all down to your smart thinking. <laughs> <laughs> now you're never going to take your helmet off. Well, I like wearing it now. It's cool. But you were right. I should wear it anyway, because it's the safe thing to do. <laughs> relax, relax. Leave it to Max. Oh, what do you think Max is up to? Ow! Are you all right? Oh, uh, hi! Yes, never better. <laughs> What's that you've got there, Max? This is Scoot's new improved siren. Uh, 
what just happened? Uh, I think Max did. <laughs> just a few little gremlins to be sorted out. Max, stop messing about and get to work. Uh, yes, Bobby. And where are you three off to this bright and breezy morning? We're going for a walk in Friend Forest. So we're going to see if we can find any rare plants there. We're going to take pictures. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Mind how you go. We will. <laughs> Jumpy, that's a bluebell. They're about as rare as flies round a jam pot. Oh, I knew that. Just wanted to make sure you were both paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. But I bet I can find the rarest plant. Come on. Now this is what I call a find. That's a sort of mushroom, isn't it? A fungus. Yep. Isn't it beginning to get a bit dark? Wow! Look at the time! We should be getting back. Uh, which way is back? Maybe it's this way. We're lost, aren't we? Lost? Help! We're lost! Lost in Friend Forest and... and, and Hungry work, all this inventing. Oh, need salt and pepper. No. Oh. Oh well, just have to do without the pepper. Hmm. They should be back by now. I hope nothing's happened. Oh, don't worry. They're sensible children. They'll be back soon. <laughs> oh, hello, Tiffany. Well, you look pleased to see one of your best customers. Oh, I'm sorry, Tiffany. It's just that we're a bit worried about Martin and Mia. They went to look for flowers in Friend Forest. Yes, I know. I saw them earlier on. And they're not back yet. Well, don't worry. Timber and I will find them in no time. Timber's a brilliant tracker dog. Oh. oh. <laughs> Have you got one of the sweaters or a sock or something so Timber can get their scent? That's it. Good boy. Now seek. Seek, Timber. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll be home before you know it. Oh, I hope so. Thanks, Tiffany. Oh, now that's what I call a sandwich. <laughs> that sounds like... Just a bit. Martin, Mia and Jumpy are lost, and Timber was tracking them down. But thanks to you and your pepper... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Timber. <laughs> oh. Still, not to worry. I'll find them. I'll fetch Haley, and we'll search the forest for them. <laughs> and we'll get Petey. Where to, Tiffany? Friend Forest. We've got some lost children to find. OK, 
Okay, Haley. This is a red alert. Let's go. stuck here. Wait a minute. <gasps> Monsters? No, just a great idea. Oh, brilliant. Here we are, lost in Friend Forest, and Martin wants to take a picture. No, no pictures. Just going to use the flash. Of course, the flash gun. They might be able to see that through the trees. It's no good. Your searchlight won't reach the forest floor. Wait, what's that down there? It looks like someone's trying to signal us. Max to Tiffany, Max to Tiffany. You found them? I think so. Someone's signalling from amongst the trees. It could be them. They're about 300 metres from you. Bearing seven degrees north by northwest. I'm on my way. Oh, a lot of good that was. It was a really good idea, Martin. Yeah, pity it didn't work. <gasps> What's that? Oh no, I said the forest was full of monsters and... That's no monster, it's Tiffany. Tiffany! Are we ever glad to see you? Likewise, your mum and dad are being so worried. Oh, Tiffany, how can we ever thank you? Oh, there's no need. And I have to say, Max did all the real work. Oh, he was great. Him and Hayley. Mind you, he wouldn't have spotted us if it hadn't have been for your camera, Martin. Well, we'll have to give Max a little something to show our appreciation. Um, I don't suppose you've got a spare pepper pot knocking about, have you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you believe it? Max has lost Haley's keys again. We'd better find them right away, Tiffany, otherwise we could be in big trouble. I don't know where to start. <laughs> Timber's not short of ideas. Find Haley's helicopter keys, Timber. Go, fine boy. Timber. I'll get these back to Max right away. Tell him to put them somewhere safe this time. <laughs> well done, Timber. I don't know what we'd do without you. Jumpy? Uh, I'm okay, Mia. I just grazed my knee. It's Tina and Ted. Hello. Uh, they're going to the hospital. Come on, Mia. Coming, Jumpy? <laughs> no thanks, Mia. I'm going to practice my speed skipping. <laughs> Hmm. 
I was sure I'd left my fireman's helmet out here. Hi, Abby. Hi, Abby. Hi there. Want to help Tina top up my battery? Yes. I'm going to see what Ted's doing. Hi, Martin. Want to help me pack my medical bag? Oh, yes, please, Ted. Uh, stethoscope. Check. Antiseptic cream and medical wipes. Double check. Plasters, gauze and bandages. Uh, ta-da! Plasters, gauze and bandages. Your battery's really low, Abby. Then charge me right up to the top. An emergency ambulance must never stop. Hi, Timber. Shouldn't you be at the police station with Tiffany? <laughs> I think he's just dropped by to say hi. So, Mama Top? Check. Scissors. Uh, check complete. Thanks for your help, Martin. I'm ready for action! Hey, what have you got there, Timber? Jumpy? What's wrong? I fell over and my leg hurts! Ow! Hmm, I think we might need Abby's help. We've got an emergency, Tina! Let's go! Bye! Bye! Look, Martin! Oh, no! Ted forgot his bandages! Petey! Hey, stop! What's the matter? Oh, Ted's gone off to an emergency without any bandages! I'd better double-check that with Ted. <laughs> Calling emergency ambulance crew. Come in, please. Bobby, I haven't got a single bandage in my medical bag. Ow! My leg really hurts! Don't worry, Jumpy. Abby will be here soon. Can't we get some bandages from the hospital? It's locked up and Tina's got the key. We could rip up some towels. Surely they'd do instead of bandages. Uh-uh. Towels wouldn't be sterile. Bandages have to be absolutely clean. Otherwise, the wound can become infected. Got a call coming in, Tiffany. Abby to Petey. We need help. Immediately. We're on our way, Abby. Please, can we have a lift, Tiffany? OK. Just this once, seeing as it's an emergency. Can you believe it? We've got a flat tyre right in the middle of an emergency. I'd better tell Mia's mum we've been held up. We'll get to you as soon as we can. Meanwhile, keep Jumpy warm and don't let him move his leg. OK, Ted. I'll do my best. Oh, it really hurts! It really hurts! When are they coming? Don't worry, Jumpy. They'll be here soon. Ah! 
Thanks for coming so quickly, Petey. We've got an injured person in the town square and no chance of getting there. If Petey could give me a lift, I could attend to the patient on my own. No worries, Ted. Hop in. I'll stay here and help Tina fix the wheel. Oh, thanks, Bobby. <laughs> Hi, Timber. Keep an eye on my bag. What have we got here? Don't worry, Jumpy. I'll soon have you bandaged up. Huh? We thought you didn't have any bandages. Where did you find them? <laughs> in Timber's cage. You should check out the other stuff in Timber's cage, Tiffany. After I've strapped you up, I'm going to get you to the hospital for an x-ray. Oh, thanks, Ted. <laughs> Would you believe what I found in Timber's cage? That's Bobby's coffee cup. And Barney's fireman's hat. Looks like Timber's been collecting treasure from all over the city of friends. <laughs> Looks like a peaceful day in the city of friends, G. Not so peaceful here, Raph. Peachy's got an emergency call coming in. Over and out, Jeep. Stay alert, Raph. Cooling off, Elfie. I'm topping up my water tank for the next emergency, Raph. Will you let me know if Frankie needs me? Take as long as you like, Elfie. I'll keep my eyes on Frankie. Thanks, Raph. <laughs> You're supposed to score goals by smashing the ball over the net, Jumpy. <laughs> Who cares? It's more fun this way. <laughs> Quick, Martin, smash it over. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Go for it, Mia. <laughs> Friends, Bonnie. Stop, Frankie! Stop! Oh, I should have been watching Frankie, not the netball game. Oh, what am I going to tell Elfie? What's going on? Hey, Raph, where's everybody gone? I'm sorry, Elfie. I've not been keeping my eye on the job. They went without you. We heard Frankie's siren. Which way did he go? Huh? Shouldn't you be with Frankie and the fire crew, Elfie? Yes, Martin. They left without me. It's all my fault. Whoa! Cool. <laughs> Barney and Tom will never be able to put out the fire without me. Maybe one of the other emergency vehicles could transport you, Elfie. Let's give them a call. I've got radio contact. I could put in a call for you. Gee, can you hear me? Emergency! I hear you, Ralph. What's your problem? We need Petey and the police crew over here right away. 
Uh, oh, I just can't get in. Oh, it's no good. I'll never fit inside the police car. <laughs> you might fit inside Abby. Good idea. Abby's bigger than Petey. Ruff, ruff, ruff. It won't work. Abby and the ambulance crew have gone to the fire too. Maybe I should just set off on foot. You'll never catch up with Frankie. They'll be miles away by now. Oh, you could borrow my skateboard. Thanks for the offer, Jumpy, but I could never balance on your skateboard. Oh, what am I going to do? <gasps> Where's Elfie? We can't put out the fire without her. We'll have to go back and get her. But Tom, there's no time. We've got to put out the fire before it takes hold of another building. There must be a water hydrant we can connect up to. Come on, Tom. There isn't a moment to lose. Whoa! <laughs> Cheer up, guys. It might never happen. Barney and Tom have gone off on an emergency and left me behind. Oh. You can take Scoot to catch up with Frankie. Thanks, Max. But I think I'd squash Scoot if I stood on him. Huh? Why don't we tie Scoot to Jumpy's skateboard? What would be the point of that? By putting them together, we could double the space for Elfie to stand on. Very clever, Martin. That's a great idea. Yeah, but will it work? Trust me, it will work. <coughs> Just need a couple of planks to connect Scoot to the skateboard. We're going to tie the whole thing together. Can we help, Max? We're brilliant at tying ropes. Yes, of course. Now, let's pull this rope really tight. We don't want it to fall apart. <laughs> OK, Martin. You go first and test it out. Yes! Jump test boss! Safe as a row of houses. Your turn now, Elfie. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh, it works! <laughs> Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Faster! Faster! <laughs> this scooter board is fantastic! Bonnie? I've located a water hydrant on the other side of the square. Good work, Tom. Let's get Frankie hitched up right away. Oh, Elfie! Elfie. Quickly, Tom, lower my bucket. Come on, team. Let's put this fire out. He's beating back the fire! I want to apologise for...
for letting the fire crew down. Oh, don't worry about it, Raph. I loved whizzing along on my scooter board. I'm sure I went faster than Frankie. Oh, impossible. I'm the fastest emergency vehicle in the City of Friends. I promise I won't play games at work anymore. Stick to having fun when you're off duty. Stay alert, Raph! Uh, <laughs> I promise I will. Max is inventing something, Timber. Again. Uh, Max, what are you up to? Going to borrow Bobby's pencil sharpener. <laughs> no, Max. I meant, what are you doing in your treehouse? Oh, well, if you must know, Tiffany, I'm inventing a rather clever new engine for Scoot. I'll be able to get to the scene of a crime a lot quicker with the Max Mark 7 scooting engine. But not until I've got a pencil that writes again. What's this, Timber? <laughs> Don't think there'd be any room for Max on this. And it's Martin heading down the sideline to hit a jumper. Oh, oh, to me! I'm here! To me! Here! Here! Here I am! Oh, oh, oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Do you think he's all right? Wow! What's that? Help! Uh, I think it's jumpy. I'm stuck! Where are we off to, Tina? To the school. Bit of an emergency. Jumpy's got a waste paper bin stuck on his head. Whoa! Steady. Oh, that's better. Nice windscreen wiper work, Abby. I aim to please. Now, hold still, Jumpy. Ow! <clears throat> oh! Sorry, Jumpy. Let's try it this way. Ouch! I think we'd better get him to the fire station. Why? He's not on fire. <laughs> no, but they've got special cutting equipment there. They'll be able to get it off his head without too much trouble. Come on, Jumpy. But I can't see anything! This way! Over here! Tina, I heard Abby's siren. I... just a minute. What? Something the matter, Max? I should say so. Littering is a serious offence, Tina. I would have thought you'd know that. Yes, I do know. Everyone goes to a great deal of trouble to keep the streets of the City of Friends clean and tidy. Throwing paper around willy-nilly isn't going to help, is it? Well, it wasn't us, Max. As if. What? what, what? Ow! Look, Max, we've got a bit of an emergency here and you're not helping. Get this thing off me! <coughs> Trouble? Just a bit. We need your help to cut this off Jumpy's head. Oh, but be gentle with me. It's the only head I've got. <laughs> Don't worry, Jumpy. I'll be careful. Hmm. So if it wasn't Ted and Tina... OK, Frankie. Time for a bit of a wash and brush up. <laughs> oh, steady, help me. Oh, keep that soap out of me eyes. Don't worry, Frankie. I've... Hello? Stop right there. Max? So, it's you, is it, Elfie? Yes, I think so. I, I mean, I, I was me when I woke up this morning and... Don't try to be clever with me, my girl. What about all this litter? 
Yes, annoying, isn't it? It's more than annoying, it's a serious offence. But if you get it all cleaned up double quick, then we may be able to overlook it just this once. Ooh. Just a minute, young fella, me lad. Are you suggesting that Elfie made all this mess? Well, who else? Well, I don't know, but it wasn't Elfie. No, oh, I mean, I wouldn't. Hmm. The plot thickens. Well, I intend to get to the bottom of this. Uh, <clears throat> I'll save the siren for later. Um. So, caught you red-handed. Huh? What do you mean? You're our litter bug, are you? Well, I don't think much of litter louts. And nor does the rest of the City of Friends Police Department. I'm not littering. I'm picking it up to put it in the bin. See? Yes. Well, just watch your step. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Oh, Max. So, more litter. And right in front of the City Hall, too. Oh, the very cheek of it. Oh, thanks, Max. Must have dropped it out of my pouch. Ah, oh, I see. Not litter. No, a letter. Good. Well, um, um, in that case, uh, carry on. Ah, litter. Oh, and another bit. And, and uh, aha, I'm back on the trail. Almost there. Just one more snip and I'll have this off you, Jumpy. Oh, please. Not until you get this litter cleaned up, you're not, Jumpy. We've got a word for people like you in the police force. Litter bugs. Just a minute, Max. Jumpy isn't a litter bug. This litter just fell out of the bin on his head. And what? Oh, oh, I see. Well, in that case, get this cleared up while I clear up the case of the littering litter out. Calling Max. Please report to the police station immediately. Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe someone's got a lead on the case. I'm on my way. <coughs> Silly siren. Aha! Uh -huh. More evidence. I'm pretty sure we're going to get to the bottom of this litter problem. And soon. Policeman Max reporting for duty, sir. Good. Now, Max, what have you got to say about all this litter? Oh, don't you worry, sir. I'm on the case. I have a few leads, and I'm pretty sure I'll have the case all wrapped up before very long. Well, perhaps you ought to start at your treehouse. What? My... what? My treehouse? Why? Oh! Oh, no! I... I don't believe it! The paper I was making my new designs on! Yes, looks like you were the letter bug all along, Max. And there'll be no more designing until you've got the whole town cleaned up. <laughs> Case closed, eh, Max? <clears throat> looks like it, Martin. And, uh, sorry about earlier. Don't worry, Max. We all make mistakes. <laughs> Some more than others. Yes. Oh, well. Better get started on the clean-up. It won't take long. Not with all of us helping. What? What? I, you mean... Oh, thanks. Thanks a million. Well, that's what friends are for. Anyhow, good luck in today's training exercise, Ted. <laughs> you could at least tell me what you and Barney have got planned. I know. I'm a hopeless father. <laughs>
But seriously, Dad, I want to do really well today. Tina's such a good teacher. I, I don't want to let her down. I'm sure you won't. Here are your lunches. Pop them in your rucksacks. Oh, and have you all got bottles of water? Yes, I have. Yes, thanks. How are my helpers this morning? Great, thanks, Bobby. I've never been on a training exercise before. Are we going to be really hurt or just pretending? <laughs> just pretending, Jumpy. Is it a sort of test for you, Ted? Yes, it's a chance for Tina, Bobby and Barney to find out how well I'm doing. Now, do you all know where to meet me? Yes, yes Bobby. Bobby. See you later, then. Good luck, Ted. Uh, thanks. I wish we could help Ted do well. I've just made a whole lot of sticky buns. Oh, Ted's favourites! So why don't you take him some on your way to meet Bobby? Hi there! Hi, Ted! We've got something for you. Sticky buns! Oh, yes, I love sticky buns. Oh, mm, mm, thank you. Mm. They're a sort of good luck present for today. Mm. Fantastic. I'll keep the rest till later. Dad loves them too. I know. I'll put them in here for now. Oh, thanks so much. See you later, Ted. Good luck. See you. Calling all services. Are you standing by? Police standing by, Bobby. Fire crew standing by, Bobby. Medical team standing by, Bobby. Over here. <sighs> That was a long ride. Good thing we've got drinks for you then. Great! Thanks, Bobby. OK, this is the plan. We're pretending that you've got lost in the forest and that each of you has a different injury. Oh, what's mine? It's written on your card. Oh, a twisted ankle. Mine's a bruised leg. What's yours, Martin? Only a scratched arm. So, what we'll do is this. You all hide in those bushes. Then I'll call out the police. It's their job to find you. Then they'll read your cards and call out the medical team. And Ted has to decide what to do with our injuries? That's right. But what about the firefighters? Where do they fit in? Ha <laughs> ha That's a surprise for later. Right. Off you go. Ready? Ready. Yes. Ready, Bobby. Bobby to Tiffany. We have an emergency. Three children are missing in Friend Forest. Message received, Bobby. We're on our way. <laughs> Stop wriggling, Jumpy. I can't help it. My bruised leg's hurting. <laughs> Timber! Shh, shh. Here, Timber! Come on, come on, let's get going. There's nothing to worry about, Ted. You'll do fine. What is it, Timber? What have you found? There you are! Oh, you found us! Hi, Tiffany! Hi, Max! Well done, Timber! Good boy! <laughs> Tiffany to medical team. We found the missing children. Medical team to attend, please. This way. OK. Mia has a twisted ankle. Martin has a scratched arm. And Jumpy has a bruised leg. Right. In that case, I'll start by... What? Oh, no. I've mixed the bags up. The one with the equipment in it must still be at the hospital. Oh, oh no. Oops. I'm so sorry. I should have checked my equipment before I came. Well, fortunately, this is an exercise, so no harm's done. But suppose it was a real situation, Ted. What would you do next? Um, okay. Um, well, 
The children's injuries are quite minor. They don't have to be treated here, so I'd take them back to the hospital as quickly as possible. Good answer. Yes. But as I don't want to stop the exercise, let's put it on hold while you two go back to get the right bag. We gave Ted the buns. It's our fault. Not really. Ted shouldn't put buns in medical bags. But we all make mistakes, and I'm sure he's learned his lesson. But he wanted to do well, and now he's messed up. Maybe it would cheer him up if someone else made a mistake too. Now there's an idea. Leave it with me. What's in that one, Jelly Babies? Oh, honestly, I can't believe I've been so silly. Here they are. See you later. Before you ask, yes, this is the right bag. <laughs> Good, Ted. Then let's get started. Bobby to all services. The exercise is starting again. Now. Bobby to fire crew. Emergency. A fire has broken out in Friend Forest. Please attend. Tom to Bobby. We're on our way. Tom? There's something I want you and Elfie to do. OK, that's done. Now, Jumpy, it's your turn. <gasps> What's that? There's a fire in the forest. You must get the casualties to safety as quickly as possible. <laughs> It's Petey and Abby. We'll have to go that way. It's Frankie. OK, Elfie. Go for it. Oops. I seem to have made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Elfie. You see, Ted? Anyone can make a mistake. Yes, but that wasn't really a mistake, was it? Elfie did that on purpose. But it made you laugh. We just wanted to cheer you up, Ted. You don't have to be cross with yourself anymore. <laughs> OK, thanks. That's it then, everyone. The exercise is over. How about some sticky buns to celebrate? Here they are. <laughs> are you sure? Uh, yes. I've learned two lessons today. One is to check my equipment before I go out on a call. What's the other, Ted? The other? is that sticky buns are really good for cheering up people with minor injuries. <laughs> <laughs> and there are still plenty to go round. Kimmy, I can't stop. I'm on special patrol this week up at the school. I have to make sure the children cross the road safely. Don't work too hard, Max. <laughs> Why not? That's what I like best. See you. Morning, Bobby. Barney. Morning. The usual, please. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, so this Best Police Trainee Award is a new thing. Each city can put someone up for it. Will you put up Max? I'm certainly thinking about it. Hi, Max. You know the Police Trainee Award? No, nope, never heard of it. Well, we heard Bobby talking about it in the cafe just now. It's a new thing. Bobby said he was thinking of putting you up for it. Really? That's cool. I'll have to work really hard to make sure he does. There. 
That's you all oiled up, Scoot. From now on, you've got to go super fast to impress Bobby. Max! Kim is in trouble. Can you get over to her in East Street? Oh, right away! Hi! <laughs> wow! Someone's in a hurry. It's really weird. I'm just walking under here when suddenly, boink, something hits me on the head. What sort of thing? Small, hard, and it hurt, that's for sure. You're right, it is weird. Anyhow, I'll go back with you to the post office. Make sure you're all right. Thanks, but there's no need. No, really. Come on. Well done, Max. Time to go off duty now. You know, the strangest things happen in the City of Friends. Why? What's up, Bobby? I've just been talking to the Mayor and it seems several people have come out of the Town Hall today and been hit on the head. Really? What by? No one knows. Something small and hard, it seems. I'll go and take a look around. But it's your time off. That's OK. There might be a connection with Kimmy. She's been hit by something today too. Well, thanks, Max. Tell you what, take Timber with you. Timber! <laughs> Come on, Timber! No clues and no one here. <laughs> oh, I really need to solve this case, Timber. I'm sure that would persuade Bobby to put me up for the Best Police Trainee Award. <coughs> Max to Bobby! Max to Bobby! Come in, Max. We've done a full search. Haven't found anything, though. OK, Max. See you back here. Out. <coughs> Timber? <coughs> I can't sleep. Let's go and have another look around the town hall. Still can't see anyone here. Let's hide for a bit and see what happens. Huh, this'll do. <laughs> oh, almost morning. Come on, time to go home. G to Max, G to Max. Have you finished at the school yet? Max? Come in, Max. Oh, where can he be? Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> I've overslept, Timber. Oh, sorry I'm late, G. There you are. I've got a job for you. What about the school? Too late. You've missed it. Oh, I'm so silly. Oh. All right, where to? East Street again, same as yesterday. On my way! See you! Hi, Kimmy. Has it happened again? Yes! Why me, I'm wondering. Did you see what hit you? No, it rolled away. I thought I saw something move up there. Nothing there now. No. No, I'd better get on with my deliveries. OK, take care and let me know if it happens again. Hey, Max, we missed you this morning. Has Bobby said anything about the Best Police Trainee Award yet? Not yet. And at the rate I'm going, I'm afraid he won't. What do you mean? Why not? I managed to oversleep this morning. Can you believe it? Me! That's why I wasn't here. But you're never late for anything. Well, I was today. If Bobby finds out, there's no way he'll put me up for the award. I know. We'll help you. We'll come to school early, and on the way, we'll call in to make sure you're awake. Thanks. That would really help. to go 
to school! Hello there. Everything all right? Oh no, this is awful! Sorry I'm late, Bobby! Max, wait! What's up, G? Is he really late? <laughs> no, he's five minutes early. Oh, oh, thanks for trying to get me up. It's not your fault I didn't come out in time. I've let Bobby down and I haven't solved the case. What case? Someone's dropping things on people's heads. But I can't find out who it is. Hi, Jim. Shh. It's a nutshell. Look, Kimmy, small and hard. These are what have been hitting you on the head. Nutshells? The squirrel drops them. Well, I never. Jumpy's the one who spotted it. Well done, you. What about at the town hall, Max? Could that be a squirrel too? If it is, I've been wasting my time looking around there at night. Because squirrels don't come out at night? Exactly. They sleep at night. Which is what you should be doing, Max. No wonder you've been getting up late. Yes, I know. I've been trying too hard to please Bobby because of that award. <laughs> the mayor will be pleased it's only a squirrel. Well done, Max. You've done a great job. But I was late this morning. No, you weren't. You were five minutes early. Really? Now listen, I'm putting you up for a new award. It's for the best police trainee. And it doesn't matter if you don't win, OK? Why not? Because as far as I'm concerned, you're the best police trainee I could possibly have. Oh, thanks, Bobby. That's definitely what matters most to me. It was a dark and stormy night. The robbers were lurking around the corner, waiting for the bank manager and all the people who worked in the bank to go home. As soon as they did, the robbers pounced. They went down to the cellar, where the giant bank vault was full of money and gold. They used a special metal cutter to get into the vault and filled their bags with their loot. It's not quite finished. Mine's not finished yet either, but I'll read what I've got so far. Bonnie the lifeboat was bringing a big crate of fireworks across the lake. But when she arrived at the quay, someone dropped a lighted match onto the fireworks and they were all set off. The rockets flew across the town and set fire to lots of buildings and then... How about leaving your homework for a while? I've got a little job for you. Dad and I are organising a party to tell everyone about our new line of cakes. Perhaps you could put these invitations into the envelopes and take them to Kimmy to deliver them. Yes, please. Sorry, Max, but Scoot Siren made me jump. Is it working properly? Not really. Doesn't sound too good, does it? No, it doesn't. Well, I suppose I'll just have to go back and do a bit more work on it. Still, at least I'll have some peace and quiet to do it in. Bobby and Tiffany are away at an important meeting. Oh, left you in charge, have they? Yes. Yes, I suppose they have. All I need now is a few crimes to solve. And then, ho oh, oh, I can feel a promotion coming on. <laughs> Max! A party, eh? Lovely. I love 
love a bit of a party. And it's for a new line of cakes, is it? Lovely. I love a slice of cake. Lemon sponge, chocolate and cheesecake. Love a spot of cheesecake, I do. Oh, you are a chatterbox, Martin. You'll have me here all day and I've got these invitations to deliver. Mustn't hang about, must I? Cheerio. See you later. Bye. Yes, bye. <laughs> she does go on, doesn't she? Suppose we better get on with our homework. Hang on. Where's it gone? Mum, have you tidied away our homework? No. <sighs> I suppose we'll just have to start again. Well, at least we know what we're doing. Elfie, Tom, I've just had an anonymous letter. It says that someone's looking to start a fire, well, lots of fires, in the City of Friends, using fireworks. What? Think you'd better take this to Bobby. See what he makes of it. Bobby's away. So's Tiffany. Max is in charge at the police station today. That's all we need with an emergency like this. It looks like a tip-off about a bank robbery. <gasps> Come on, Scoot. We've got some robbers to catch. Max? We've got a bit of a problem. Someone sent us this letter. You got one too? Hmm. Maybe they're going to start the fires to divert attention from the bank robbery. Bank robbery? What bank robbery? Oh, this is when Max uh, stops the crimes. I might even get a medal. Come on, Scoot. We've got a job to do. Fireworks? Yes. It seems someone wants to start a fire with some fireworks and they aim to put them aboard you. Oh, help. Don't worry. I'm sure we can foil them. And if you see anything suspicious, get in touch. Oh. <laughs> you are sillies. Here's the homework you... Oh. No, it isn't. It's two invitations. That means that someone didn't get invited. I think it might mean something else, too. We must have put our stories in the envelopes. And someone's got them instead of an invitation. Well, you better find out who's got the stories and explain what's happened. Well, I can't say I'm counting the days until the next one of those meetings. <laughs> it was just a tad boring. I... Oh! What's the matter with Tom and Barney? We'd better stop and ask them. What's going on? We've received these anonymous letters. What on earth? Right, I'll get over to the bank. Tiffany, you get over to the harbour and make sure no one puts any suspicious packages aboard Bonnie. Now, as soon as the robbers get here, we'll be ready to pounce and that medal's as good as mine. So... It was all a mistake. We must have put our homework in the envelopes instead of the invitations. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose we'd better let Max and Bobby know. Oh, yes. And Tiffany. 
And you two had better be a bit more careful next time. Yes, Barney. Sorry, Barney. <laughs> Hang on. Think this is it, Scoot? Get ready for action. <gasps> ah! Get you. off! Get off of me, you you, you get hooligan! You. Oh. Ah. You. Get, get, well, get oh. away with this! <laughs> Bobby? Me? A robber? As if. <clears throat> so, Max, no medals then? No, no medals. Mind you, there's someone around here who could do with a medal. And who's that? Your mum. For these cakes, they're scrummy. Mm. 